Well, it's time now for On Your Doorstep. Well, you were here just yesterday, and now we're going to take you straight back there. Back Why to didn't they just keep me there? That's, yeah, you could have done On Your Doorstep, I could have done this. I could have just gone down to Cumber, <laughs> yeah, uh, Cumber is, Dougie, yeah, it's like and, uh, and done this. Done you out of a job, Dougie. Yes, indeed, and welcome to Cumber in County Down, or Comer as it's known in Irish, and that means the meeting of rivers. Cumber's famous for a number of things, including Thomas Andrews, the, des- the des- designer of the Titanic, lived here, many of the buildings named after him, but its most notable asset is potatoes, and the Cumber potatoes just growing out the road there towards Newton Ards on the flat ground that was many hundreds of years ago was flooded by Strangford Lock and the nutrients in the soil there make it perfect for growing root vegetables and in particular potatoes. Why potatoes? Are we outside a bakery? Well let's go in and have a look see and we'll meet up with uh, the baker here. His name is Daryl and uh, he is doing marvellous things with potatoes and soda bread. Something that you would know a lot about Eamon. Uh, This is uh, one of your favourite spots. You you pretend to like the croissants, that's but I know they're wrong. So we're going to catch up with Daryl. Daryl, I'm just making a few wheat and farrels here at the minute. Uh, we have our sodas ready to go. We have our potato bread sitting. This is uh, very popular. It's potato chump made with a wee bit of cream and black pepper. We have potato oaten and we have potato apple which is all very popular. So, tell us, it's obviously, it is potatoes in the bread. Yes. Uh, the Scottish, I suppose, have something very similar called tatty scones. Yes. But it, it, it really is a sort of a... It would be, yes, Ulster Scotch. The same as this idea here with the porridge oats. The porridge oats and the potato bread, that would be like an Ulster Scotch sort of idea as well. Now, you have soda bread as well. Talk us through that. Yes, we have, it's basically a plain flour. We have got raising agents in it. Uh, it's our own blend. We add buttermilk and we just add a little bit of oil. And this is it here, ready to go. Very simple. Uh, just mix it up by hand. You can at home, folks. Very easy to do. Just a little bit of buttermilk. There, isn't that lovely? All done by hand. Soda bread goes back years. My granny and my great granny back in the day, they've used exactly the same as what I'm doing here now. All very simple. Also back the like of the bacon soda. It had it was multifunctional, so you could make bread. Also great for cleaning as well folks. Back in the day they didn't have any jiff or anything like that. So just old fashioned baking soda. Uh, this is our wheat and farrels now, ready to go on. Just like that. And our champ is ready to come off. Very pretty. Okay. I, it's, it is fantastic and thank you very much and I know that you have some stuff there for Eamon Eamon we know that you pretend to like uh, all those croissants and stuff and they're not at all this man is going to send you across a kit for soda itself he, so he won't have go. to send me tell him I'll be there next weekend I'll call in and see him Sorry, and here we go oh he says he'll be here next weekend to call in and see you and there look he has a beautiful Oh no, he teases us. Oh, there we go. There's, Alan, I was there on Friday. I'm sorry I didn't know about you. Soda? Uh, That's our own soda blend, ready to go. And this lovely. is wheat and blend, ready to go. So you've no excuse now. You can make your own sodas back at home. There you go. And that's it. And that's your, that's your breakfast sorted, Dougie. That's your breakfast sorted. We know, we know. We'll see you again in an hour. 
<laughs> yeah. Good man. Thank, thank you very much. Good stuff. Thank good you. stuff. Good. Sorry, but we have to leave it there. Um, look, I love it getting out and about on the doorstep in the morning. It's well, really nice. Well, another sort of farm. Yeah. Will you pop in next weekend? I will. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I was there on Friday. I know you were. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. I've, I've had a known about it. And um, potato bread. Potato bread. Potato oh. bread. I mean, that is just yeah. extra wicked, it isn't is it? Lovely. And especially, I mean, we're all going to pay more for our breads, various breads with them. Um, the grain price going up and all that sort of thing. So, um, so what I couldn't work out. Yeah, there's flour in soda bread, so therefore that involves grain. Yeah, I was trying to. But think. does it actually involve potato? I missed that. Yes. Oh, right. yeah, okay. That's what it's called. There's a clue yeah, in the yeah. title. I know, but I wasn't it's sure if it was like a funny bread. name. I don't know. <laughs> I've never encountered it before. Bread. And then you put, and then you, you you heat it, and then you put things like bacon or sausages or fried egg Stop or poached it. egg on top of it. No, it's all very very, very Making nice. Making us hungry. Anyway, you know what to do.